Hi guys, happy Thanksgiving Eve. Oh my gosh, I can't believe tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Like, it just, I just have to keep reminding myself that tomorrow's Thanksgiving, it feels like. Um, but uh, I just want to just say that like some exciting things are going on in my life that um, I'm working towards, that I have goals towards, that I'm seeing progress to these goals being accomplished. And that's exciting for me, but also it, I'm seeing it this way because I'm not measuring it if my goal is finished yet. It's the progress I'm making towards the goal, like how reflecting on how I was a week ago from now. And with that is um, kind of like just talking towards about the blog. Like there are some things that I have tried and failed. I don't even want to say fail, scratch that. There are some things that I've tried and the result it could have been better but you know that's the beauty of trial and error you got to keep trying until you figure out what works or what doesn't work so and i'm gonna i'm gonna try and apply that to everything in my life not wor worrying so much on the end effect of but more of what i got out of it and what i'm learning from it and i'm learning so much and I don't measure my progress on how many times my post is shared or commented or liked. Um, I value my progress and reflect on that, on how I'm feeling about it, how I feel I'm doing, um, how like the genuine feedback I get that keeps me to keep, that tells me to keep going and that I am helping and then my voice matters. And that's what I'm more worried about is finding confidence in my voice and knowing that my voice does matter and showing people that their voice matters too. So there's that uh, little spiel. I'm not gonna go on a tangent like I usually do, but I just wanted to talk about my latest blog that I, there's two that I um, shared back to back because I was struggling on writing honestly and with that I felt guilt every single day because I was like I should be writing I was like what am I doing like I was getting so mad I kind of got into a dark place of like I need to be better um like why can't I write why am I not it wasn't I was losing motivation it's just I got kind of stuck and I felt a lot of responsibility to write and keep posting but like I said, my glass was not full and I can't keep giving if there's nothing in my, my cup to give. So I took a month break. Yes, I did make some videos, but um, I didn't get the satisfaction of actually writing it. So yeah, so I'm back and better than ever. So I wanted to talk about my latest one that I am really proud of and that I honestly think it is one of my best ones because of just how real and honest I was. So this one is called Give Today a Fair Chance of Being Great. 24 hours, what are you going to do with it? When you come to the realization that we are all given 24 hours in a day, no matter who and where you are, that is the game changer. Donald Trump, Michelle Obama, Blake Lively, your next door neighbor, Steve Jobs, your hometown's drunk, all have the same 24 hours in a day. What makes these people so very different is how they valued and were aware of the opportunities they were given each and every day. What did tomorrow do to you that you were already trying to get it over with? Life is way too short and precious to wish the day or days away. Let's say it's Monday and you are already longing for Friday right when you get up. For one, you already set yourself up for a long week with that negative mindset. And two, you're gonna be so focused on the weekend that you're gonna miss out on the beauty and opportunity that a weekday could hold. Our brains are already programmed to dismiss the weekdays that they are nothing more than an eight to four or nine to five restricted work focus. Let's switch that. I don't wanna live like a robot and wait for two days for 52 weeks and then repeat. Find opportunity in each day. This will take a mindset change. This won't be easy as this is a complete lifestyle switch. The world is meant to be discovered. Seize your opportunities, live in the now. 
If you switch to a more opportunist mindset, just think of how much more pleasant you will be, you will be around. Positivity and encouragement is addicting, like a domino effect. If you start to change, others will follow. Change is easier if you have someone changing with you, right? Like starting at the gym. It's easier and you're held more accountable if there's someone doing it with you. Your Monday will feel 10 times better if your environment is ambitious and uplifting rather than the instant longing for 5 p.m. on Friday by you and everyone around you. So here are some tips and tricks. Here are some things I have done and, currently, and I'm currently trying to help with this change. Each morning I say, I am open and receptive to all the good and abundance the universe has to offer me. You're going to sound crazy at first talking to yourself, but get freaking comfortable with yourself. Become your biggest fan and support system. Another thing I suggest is telling yourself that Monday is your favorite day and then tell another person. I did this at the hospital um, last week on Monday and um, I like one of my first patients I came in was like, oh, it's, it's Monday. Like, cause I came for the weekend. Can't wait for the weekend. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, Monday's my favorite day. And like, it, like the change in their face and our conversation was just like a switch, like for both of us, because I, Monday is not my favorite day, but telling yourself that and telling someone that you're like, it gets them thinking too. So, um, you're, so tell another person and then another person. And then when it's Tuesday, tell yourself that you're going to make today better than yesterday. And then tell someone and then another. Continue this. And you know what? Some days aren't going to be better than yesterday. Acknowledge the defeat, even though it's not a defeat. There are lessons to be learned during those challenging times. Lead by example. Don't do a do-over of that challenging day. Repeating failure the exact same way is on you. Failure is going to happen, yes, but reflecting on what failed and why it failed will give you another test run for another way to go about it. The next day is another opportunity to be, be to be better than the last and learn from the past. Wow. I am a rhymer. You know what? I'm going to go there. I'm going to say something that is going to make you feel guilty. It's going to make you feel guilty for how you've been living. What if I told you that there are people who are only given so many days to live out their life and you're wasting your unknown life on earth by watching countless hours of Netflix or sulking each day hating life? You're hating your 24 hours while others are wishing for more 24 hours. How does that feel? How does it feel when you look back and miss those people who no longer have those 24 hours? I miss my grandpa every single day. There isn't a day that goes by that I wish we were back together playing tricks on the neighbor or hearing his voice call me goofy when I open the front door. Even though I can't see him today or tomorrow or any more future days, I can remember him and use that leverage to live for him, to be grateful for every day that I'm living. I'm living for him and trying to be the best version of myself for him. Now, think about someone you miss. Do you want to live for them? Do you want to waste any more time wishing for the day to be over or for tomorrow to come and go? The best thing you can do for yourself is try. Try every single day. I'm not saying that you need to do something ex ex extraordinary every day. One day you can simply call your grandma that you haven't talked to in a while. One day you can have your friends over and make dinner for them. One day you can simply leave a thank you to the mailman who never misses your mailbox, blizzard or not. Find extraordinary in the ordinary every single day. So I kind of wanted to throw this in at the end. Um, so some great life events that happened during the week. Thursday, December 3rd, 1992. The first text message sent. Thursday, December 15th, 1791. The U.S. Bill of Rights was signed. Tuesday, January 2nd, 1968. The first successful human heart transplant was performed. Tuesday, January 8th, 1935, Elvis Presley was born. Wednesday, September 14th, 1814, Francis Scott Key writes a Star, Star Spangled Banner. So did you notice I only threw a couple in there and I wanted to continue that um, weekday life events that happened during um, a, Monday through, a Monday through Thursday I was trying 
And just those five small events, I shouldn't even say small, five huge events just makes you realize that like not all the successes happen during the weekend. There's something to look forward to um, every single day and it's all on you if that extraordinary thing, that success story is going to happen during the week. So that's what I have and wanted to talk about today. Um, so I hope you guys, whenever I post this, I'm not sure if I'm going to post it tonight because it's getting kind of late, but whether it's Thanksgiving Eve, Thanksgiving, or the day after Thanksgiving, I hope you guys have a safe, beautiful, either over the phone Thanksgiving, if you're lucky enough that you can have an in-person Thanksgiving, I just hope it's great and you don't take um, today, tomorrow, or next week for granted. So thank you. I love you all.